So we think that cancer of the colon starts as a small polyp, and we think it takes at least 10 years for it to grow from really nothing to turn into a cancer. In a colonoscopy, what we're hoping to do is find just regular little polyps that could, over a long period of time, turn into something. And by removing them, it actually reduces the risk of colon cancer by, some people think, as much as like 90%, which is a really big reduction. Um, and so that's kind of what the whole purpose is, is to catch it before it turns into anything. So. The worst part of a colonoscopy, if you talk to friends, family who's had one done, tends to be the night before. So the procedure itself, we intend that people just sleep through the whole thing and that they don't know or care what's going on. The night before is the hard part. So what we do is we give you a bunch of gross-tasting laxative to drink. It's not much fun. You end up spending a couple hours on the toilet going to the bathroom, but it's the most important part because that lets us see what we're doing. So once you get through that, then you come in the next day as an outpatient with someone to take you home. You can't drive that day. And then uh, we get an IV in, and then you go back to the room, and we get you off to sleep so that you're nice and snoozy. You're not on a breathing machine. You're just kind of asleep, not knowing or caring what's going on. And then we go in with the camera, which is about the size of a pen, maybe a marker, a little bit bigger. And uh, we go into the colon, take a look, and it takes about 30 minutes to do. If we find polyps, then we remove them. And if we don't, we don't. And then afterwards, you wake up. Um, and we just follow your blood pressure, make sure you're feeling okay, you'll pass some gas, and then you go home. Um, and you can eat on the way home, you can eat right afterwards as long as your belly's feeling okay, which for the overwhelming majority of people feel fine when they wake up. Uh, almost no one has any memory of the colonoscopy. And, uh, and the main restrictions that you would have after a colonoscopy are that you need someone to be with you that day. And so you wouldn't just go home and get dropped off and be left to do whatever you feel like. So the main restrictions are you can't drive for about 24 hours afterwards because of the sedation. Uh, you, can't have, you can't have any alcohol that night. Um, and those are really the main things. Otherwise, if you had plans to go meet up with friends, as long as you're with someone, that's okay. Um, the main thing is just no alcohol and no driving. And you don't want to make any life-changing decisions that day. That would be the other thing, just because you'll potentially be under the influence of the medication. So, but otherwise, most people are really back to normal that evening. So polyps, uh, the way I explain polyps is they're basically like little lumps in the colon. They're very common. Um, when I do a colonoscopy on someone who's about 50, which is when we tend to start doing colonoscopies for people, uh, I expect to find polyps at least 30 or 40% of the time. So that tells you they're very common. And they come in generally two varieties. One which is the kind that potentially can turn into cancer down the road. So polyps tend to be pretty small and are not cancer, but they can turn into cancer. So one type is the kind that can potentially turn into cancer. The other kind is one that we don't generally worry about that does not have a precancerous potential. The only way of knowing which kind it is is by removing them. So that's what we do. So. Uh, we go in and we take a very careful look. We usually take you know, our time coming out of the colon, looking in every sort of nook and cranny of the colon to look for polyps. And if we find them, we take them out. And it's painless. People uh, don't have any sensation from removing a polyp. It's very safe to do. Uh, afterwards, they won't even notice. And then what we do is we send them off to the lab, and someone looks at them under a microscope, and they say, hey, this was the kind of polyp that potentially could have caused a problem. Or, hey, this was nothing to worry about. You don't, you don't need to do anything with the polyps. And depending what type of polyp it is kind of determines when you would have to come back for another colonoscopy. If we get a good look and everything looks normal or we just find these non-concerning polyps, you can wait up to 10 years in between colonoscopies. If we find polyps that are the kind that potentially could have turned into something, then we do bring you back a little sooner.